similar unit that that can be used um, to relate different things. Um, very similar to how um, when adding or subtracting fractions, you need a common denominator. The mole kind of serves as that um, that common unit that everything um, can be converted to. Um, and I'll give you an example. Um, if you have two moles of Na, and that reacts with two moles of Cl, and we have two moles of NaCl. Um, now, at first I mentioned that two plus two should equal four, but um, that's not the case. It's uh, two moles of sodium plus two moles of calcium, and they become one entity. The two um, react to become one entity, um, which is one molecule, um, becoming two moles of NaCl. So yeah, an example, or a way to think of this is um, if you have two moles of boys plus two moles of girls equals two moles of couples. Um, that's just another way of looking at it. So um, the mole is actually just a number. Um, it's 6.022 times 10 to the 23. That could be moles of atoms, moles of molecules, and um, it can even be like, um, for example, moles of grapefruits. Um, just to show you how big this number is, if you had one mole of grapefruits, it would be the size of the Earth. So it's, it's a very large number. Um, and the reason the number is so large is because it's it's used um, in chemistry for det determining the number of atoms and molecules. So there's a many, um, there's a large amount of it. So we need a very large number to use. Um, this number uh, comes from exactly 12 grams of pure carbon-12, meaning no isotopes in the carbon, it's just pure 12. Um, this is the number of atoms in that. So in 12 grams of pure carbon-12, you have 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. Um, but this number is used to convert um, moles to atoms for any element. Um, uh, yeah, so oftentimes um, you're given a problem and they give you um, the, the weight or the mass of something in grams. Um, and using the PRI table, you can convert it to moles, which is then useful for you to be able to, um, to finish the equation or um, reaction or whatever. So, um, for example, if we had five grams of nitrogen, we would put that up in the periodic table. And that is 14.01 grams per mole. Okay, so um, using a periodic table, um, you, you use the atomic mass to find um, wait, the atomic mass is the molar mass, which is grams per mole. Um, and in this case, we're going to put moles over grams so that the grams will cancel out and we'll be left with moles. Um, so um, we will multiply across. That's 5.00 grams divided by 14.01, which is equal to 0 0.3569 moles of nitrogen. So what we just found out here was that for 5 grams of nitrogen, there are 0 0.3569 moles um, using this conversion that we got from the periodic table. Um, now, uh, this, this can also go both ways. You can convert from grams into moles, and you can convert from moles back into grams. Um, so if you are using it an example, let's say if we have um, 0 0.3569 um, Nine mole 
equal to 35.6712 grams of calcium. So here we did the opposite of this. We, um, we converted from moles, 0.89 moles of calcium, used the molar mass on by the finding the atomic mass on the periodic table and then convert it into grams. Um, so as you can see, you can use the molar mass